Hello everyone, welcome to today's section on what data analysis is all about. As you can see my slides are up, let's go in and know what data analysis is all about, the career opportunities in data analysis and other things that we can see here but of course are inside the slides. Let's go in. Now what is data analysis? Hmm. Data analysis is the process of systematically examining, cleaning, organizing and interpreting data to uncover meaningful patterns, trends and insights that can inform decisions. It plays a critical role across industries by enabling organizations and individuals to make data-driven choices, solve problems and predict future outcomes. Key aspects of data analysis, we have the data collection, data cleaning, data analysis techniques, data visualization and reporting. However, let's go see what those key aspects are, the, the um, definitions we have for them, and the key things we can pick out from these aspects. Okay, let's go. Data collection. This is the first step where raw data is gathered from various sources, including surveys, databases, logs, sensors, and APIs. An example is a company collects customer feedback through online surveys. The next aspect says data cleaning. Raw data is often messy, containing errors, duplicates, or missing values. Cleaning involves preparing the data for analysis by fixing inconsistencies. And an example for this says removing duplicates, entries, handling null values, or converting data into a consistent format. Let's look at the next aspect data analysis techniques. There are several methods to analyze data depending on the goals. We have the descriptive analysis, which says summarizing historical data. And an example here says average revenue. We have the diagnostic analysis, which says understanding why something happened, e.g. it could be a drop in sales, a decline in, um, in quantity, so whatever it is, it falls within the explanation that says understand why something happened as saying a diagnostic analysis. We also have the predictive analysis which entails using data to predict future outcomes, e.g. sales forecast, and then we have the prescriptive analysis. Here we have suggesting actions to achieve desired outcomes, e.g. optimal pricing strategy. Now, what is data visualization? Insights are often communicated through charts, graphs, and dashboards to make findings easily understandable. In a nutshell, Data visualization has to do with you visualizing information, not just leaving the information in a plain state, but putting charts and visuals to communicate that finding or that information in the chart or graphs pattern. Now, example here says using a bar chart to show revenue distribution by product category. And then the last here says reporting. Once insights are generated, they are compiled into reports or dashboards for stakeholders. This step is crucial for sharing actionable recommendations. And an example here says presenting a quarterly performance report to management. Now let's look at the core principles of data analysis. We have accuracy, relevance, objective, and efficiency. Now what's accuracy? Ensuring the data and results are correct and free from errors. Relevance says focusing on data and insights that matter for the given objective. Objective involves avoiding bias in data collection, analysis, and reporting. Do not, in a nutshell, it means do not work with assumptions make sure that you don't have bias in data collection, analysis, and reporting. And the last C is efficiency, which means using methods that save time while providing reliable results. Thank you very much, and please do well to watch the next video. See you there.